Hello, creative weirdos. Oh my gosh, it's almost the new year. It's basically the new year. Happy new year. Thank you so much for watching our videos this year. It's meant so much to us that you subscribe and watch and comment and everything. So thank you. Today we're gonna be doing something really fun. We're doing a playroom for the Scope family. Two little boys, five and seven, and I'm really excited, but it's gotta be like still family friendly, not totally playroom explosion. And we have a budget of only $300 and one day to do it. You guys know the drill. Let's start the clock and go see the room. Knock, knock. I'm Mr. Kate. Oh, hey, you don't even hey, need the introduction. Hey, you already know hey, who hey, this hey. is. I'm Mr. Kate. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. so much for letting us invade your house. I know of you course. have two boys. Yes. But you're, you're used to the activity. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you're used to the noise. And they're gone. Okay, yes. so they're at school. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing is obviously that it is the first room you walk into. Yes. Right? I mean, your front door is right there. <laughs> yes. Now the front door is right there and this is the only space that we have that made sense for the kids. The only reason it doesn't make sense is because we don't want it to be the first thing people see when they walk right. in. Right. It's hard. It's like you have kids, you want them to have a space to play, but then you're also looking at it all the time. I mean, your dining yeah. room is right there as well. Yeah. So it's huge. It's a great play space for them. You have kind of, we, we call it wall hugging disease, where you just kind of like put everything along the walls. Yes. So they're into so many things. They're very well-rounded boys. Congratulations. Yes. Well, <laughs> Nolan okay. loves arts and crafts. No, I see yeah. there are over there on the wall. You already yeah. have it displayed. It's so good. So we'll definitely integrate that because they like mm -hmm. to display their art which is awesome and yes. we want to celebrate their artistic abilities yes, for in, a, sure. in a nice aesthetically pleasing way a little bit more contained gotcha okay <laughs> copy yeah. that you guys did these you and brian <laughs> we, we took an art class while i was like this big with lincoln that's so and awesome so what else do you do when you're this big with the baby so that's the challenge yeah. here because obviously you hear playroom and you think toys kid explosion yeah. but this needs to be tasteful adult friendly it needs to be good first impression Yet right. be functional for the kids. For kids. They play video games on the TV over mm -hmm. there. They do their computer work, their homework. I got the tiny little table when they were tiny. Right, of course. And, just, and yeah. now they are not tiny anymore. They're so we tiny. could do like yeah. a big boy sized table, like yeah. a normal human sized table. That would be good. Okay. They're also into sports, right? Yes. But we Hockey. like that to be outside. Okay. But sometimes <laughs> on rainy days, it does wind up in in here, you know, on a scaled down version. But yeah, right. hockey. So we will have that maybe subtly infused in here too. Just okay, so tell me about these big foam pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm I'm over them. Oh, okay. So because you said they both end up sitting on that green chair. They do, they cuddle in the green chair and they play video games. So we'll just bring in some style and just really make this feel more like a complete room. So you have stuff that you can do and then yes. we gotta work fast because the kids are gonna come home from school. Yes. And we want them Surprise. to just be surprised yes. and we gotta be done by then. Okay. So. Alrighty. All right. I'll go that way. All right. You go that, go way. that way. Hi! <laughs> Joey! <laughs> Hey Joey, did you know that today's episode is sponsored by Homescape? Oh my gosh, I love Homescape. I was just playing it last night in bed. I remember that, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big gamer, you guys, but this one is actually totally up my alley. If you guys don't know about Homescapes, it's a free-to-play combo puzzle-solving game meets interior design. It's actually a really fun game. The whole idea is that you help Austin the butler, right? Mm -hmm. Who's returned home to visit his family, his friends. He has his cat. Oh, there's a cat, you guys. But basically, he's pulling his child at home together by beating puzzles, swapping, matching, power-ups, etc. And then you earn stars and then you get to complete tasks around the house. Yes, which we are very familiar with, like decorating all of the rooms in his house. You'll redo rooms like his living room, kitchen, and bedroom. I think I'm gonna go with this craftsman style bed for the butler's bedroom, very chic. Good job, Kate. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a great game, the characters are funny. I'm personally very good at it. Uh-huh, but I'm better, guys. And anyways, it is so fun, and you guys should definitely check out Homescapes. Download the game using the link in the description below. And let's get back to the real-life decorating, shall we, Joey? 
Let's do it. Joey, I found me a Joey. If you found yourself a Joey. The challenge with this playroom is that they don't want it to look like a playroom. So I'm thinking we split the room into like two different sections. Okay. So we have like a gaming seating set up with a TV opposite to it. Okay. And then in the other half of the room, a table and chairs for like homework and arts and crafts. And then also a little like ledge desk kind of situation for the computer. So like two rooms in one. Okay. And so today we get to go to an extra fun store. Yeah. The Hotel Surplus. I've never been. I didn't even really imagine that something like this existed, but like, of course it does because hotels are constantly like redecorating, you know, every few years they like redo all the rooms and stuff. All right. So like, where does all that old stuff go? Where does it all go to die? Or maybe be reborn. We have a lot to get for a very little budget. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go shopping. Whoa. This is a mecca. I feel wild. <laughs> Come over to the lamp forest. Yes. Wow. Joey. This is crazy. This is so cool. Hey, baby. Oh All right, let's focus. What are we looking for? Wait. Kate. Kate, are you in here? <laughs> Kate, are you in here? It's actually really scary. All right, I'm going to go home. Joey, don't go home. This is scary. I bet it's haunted by a hotel ghost. If we don't need lamps, what do we need? Okay, we need like a table, which, you know, there's various ones here. We do need another chair so they could have like gaming extravaganzas. Wait, what's over here? I feel like this is like for $40. That's pretty good. It's not the It's not their style, chair. yeah. Oh, because it's from the Beverly Hills Hotel. So let's get out of the Beverly Hills Hotel. Yeah, I know. We need like insane. more like the Ramada ends. Yeah, like, ooh, what about this one? Wow. This high back blue. I need it to look good with existing chair. He's 60. That's pretty good. Yeah. For I this big of work. a chair. Does it come with a pillow? And it's solid blue pillow goes with chair. Do not separate. <laughs> let that answers your question. We could put this pillow on the green chair and I could get a green pillow for this chair and they could be friends. Just go tell them the soul. This is sold. <laughs> Joey, this is perfect. It's brand new. Only one. I'm sure we can haggle a little bit off of that price if you like it. Wait, but it doesn't come with these chairs. No, we should maybe go shopping at our house because we're getting rid of all of those. You want to sell our chairs to these people? We're, we're the ones that pay for these decorations anyways. Right, we should we just give them. We got included in the budget though. The side so of this, the road So this mind. table with the because four white chairs. Because think about white chairs with this, with the wood legs. Yep. Will be like nice and contemporary with that blue chair. Wait, these might be perfect because look, the mats are so big. Yep. We could totally fit like some of their existing artwork in there. And we should get two so we can have both boys represented. We need brown lamps because I got one? about 500 of them. Right? That, get as many in the head. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what are you like? You try, it's very off balance. You're the balancer, I'm the... No, you're the balancer. You just yelled at me for not being the balancer. Okay. Five. <laughs> okay. Let's check out. All right. Woo. That was really cool. I'm I a big fan of that store. Me too. Or Anytime like you matching want. picture frames. DVD players. 500 sconces in your living room. We bought all that stuff and they're delivering it, thankfully, which is awesome. I love when places have free delivery. I do want to get some stuff from Ikea. I know that. Frame ledges, like the ledges so we can display the books but have them like out. Well, we can't film in Ikea, guys. We've tried before. I've tried to do shopping vlogs there and they shut it down down like because it's a playroom and there's already a bunch of stuff like toys and things mm -hmm. i don't really want to be bringing in a lot of accessories because then it's just going to be like kitschy yeah there's just going to be too much stuff it's really more so about giving them like the functional furniture and items that like can house those things we also need to stop at our house and go shopping at our house oh i'm i'm not very cheap you better bring your haggling shoes okay we are back home at our house stop by to grab our old dining chairs because we are redecorating and I feel like these are gonna be perfect for the playroom table. I've seen some screws, so I just gotta figure out some replacement screws, but they're in pretty good shape. They're a little dirty. How much are we charging them for? Give so we should just give it to them. But we're on a budget. It's gotta wait, be part wait, of the budget. Wait, okay, we so. Have, we have a budget. Oh! 
<laughs> so I gotta fix all the chairs, okay. so that takes off some of the price. Fine. I'll give these to you for well, 50 much, bucks for the set. No. Come on, sir. I'll give you 25 for the set. 25? 30, but I wanna throw in, hang on, wait for it. If you throw in this IKEA what? chair, call them poodle puddles. You want those and the chair and the, no. Well, cause look, don't they look like a puddle of poodle? Like if a poodle was a puddle? Wait. I will give you the four chairs, the poodle puddles, and the blue chair. I'll give it to you all for 38.50, final answer. 38.50? That's a good deal. No, 35, 35. Okay. Thank you, good deal, great deal, guys. Great negotiation. Look at these ripe. Can't believe the tag's still on our lemon tree. We have a lot to do at our own house. <laughs> All right. Guys. It's organic, guys. I could have passed this up. It was very inexpensive. Toss me the pig skin. Fort, yes, fort. Hut, hut, hut. Oh, Joey. <laughs> Oh, there's debris on it. That's gonna be our desk. The desk ledge, we've got some shelf brackets, and then these, I'm excited about these. Curtain rods, so with the cable, and these are gonna so be- So curtain cables. <laughs> curtain cables, and then the little hooks so they can just clip up their artwork as the kids keep making it, because they're always making new artwork. No more taping art on walls. Great, all right, let's get everything in there. Good job, shake on it. You know, your breath is a little- No, it's not. It's a little right, yeah. Why do you shake that in your mouth a little bit? <laughs> okay, carefully taking this. Oh, it's taped on here. We're gonna use this again. I have the painting supplies. <sighs> Apologize to your brother, that's a cute sign. Oh, that is cute. Um, okay, so in the interest of time and budget, yep. because this room is very odd, it extends into the entryway and the staircase. If we try to paint all the walls, we're not gonna have an end point. Yeah, who wants to paint all the walls? Not me. I was thinking we could make our own line. Sink outside the box. Like your shirt. Like my shirt. The cool. curtains would be too much textile in here. There's a lot going on. So we're gonna put the TV on the wall. We're gonna move these around. These blobs are going. Yes. Okay, move we'll, the sacks. Move the sacks. We're gonna keep this chair. It's gonna go over there. This is where the ledge desk is gonna go. <laughs> so solid and then point basically hitting between those two pictures. Yeah, right, and I was thinking let's we- Let's talk more work. Wait, I was thinking we could also paint- Pete, the, this isn't all the time we have. <gasps> okay. Guys, project putting in a little bit of sports, but not too much sports in this room. We stopped at a bargain sports supply store, I guess you'd call it. Picked up some hockey pucks. These are rubber hockey pucks, because I thought, what if we took hockey pucks and made them drawer pulls? Here, do I go play air hockey, right? Can I do it? Artwork time! Okay guys, so, the parents of Lincoln and Nolan, Brian and Lori, are really good artists. We have these two framed sketches that they did while she was pregnant with Lincoln. They're so cute. We're gonna definitely make sure that these appear back in the room. But I also wanted to have Lincoln and Nolan's artwork also framed. Obviously we're gonna have the rotating wire where they can clip up their new stuff. But I did wanna frame a couple. So I grabbed these two because I thought they were beautiful beautiful and they have some of our green color happening in them. So this one is by Lincoln and this one is by Nolan. Look how pretty you guys. I'm basically taking apart the professional framing job and putting in new art and taping it up in the back with some masking tape, in this case painter's tape. Hope that it looks great. All right, guys, Joey here interrupting this episode of Mr. Kate Decorates with a huge tip. 
right? I see in the comments all the time, how do you mount your TV? How do you want the cables, the whole shebang? As you can see, I got my mount up. My studs are 16 inches apart. So right here, I'm screwed into a stud. Right here, I'm screwed into a stud. In between the studs, just nothing, just drywall. I use my one and a half inch bit, put a hole in the wall. Below where this hutch lands, I put another hole in the wall, and then I'm gonna run my cables down through the wall, plug them in behind the TV, TV on here, mount the TV, cables hidden, get it done, no excuses. Here is what we're doing. We have a scrap piece of plywood that we are going to make the desk ledge over in that corner where the wall slants. It's a way better place to put the computer for their little like homework station. But then of course we have the bigger square table where they can actually spread out with books and stuff like that. So we've just got the wood, which I'm gonna paint the same color as the walls. Our glorious chalkboard paint, which I also love the idea of a desk painted with chalkboards so they can like make notes with chalk. But these are my favorite shelf brackets to use. Really inexpensive Ikea wood, very strong. So we've got three of these, which we're gonna mount on the wall and it'll be a floating desk. It's going well. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what? Joey, oh good, you got one up already. Yeah. So, new development. These days are never dull. So Lori wants to surprise the kids with a uh, turtle. She's been wanting to get them a gift of a tortoise or, I don't know. It's a tortoise or a turtle. But she thought it would be a good time to like integrate it into the design. Does and she it integrate me. a turtle? <laughs> Did she have like a turtle tank? That's the whole point. She called me and said that she wants to pick up the turtle and the tank and everything today and asked if we could integrate it into the design, if it would work, if it was possible. Did you tell her what color the walls are? Tor turtle green. <laughs> I didn't tell her that, but it would totally work right here because I asked her the width of the aquarium. Aquarium? Tank, whatever. Let's call it the turtle tank. The please. turtle tank. She told me that she got everything. Like she got tank. a turtle. She got a tank. She got a tank stand. You're so annoying. <laughs> like it's not even funny. Okay. <laughs> That means you're done. <laughs> Thank you. Joey! Go ahead, try it. It's fun. I have nails. Artwork looks so cool. Oh my gosh, this pink went from ripped paper. Like, how cute. We have chalkboard walls, which is awesome. Lori, Mama Lori likes to make to-do lists for the boys, which she used to do on just a tiny little whiteboard, and now she has the walls to write on. And of course, it's erasable, but the key with chalkboard wall paint is to season it, because right now it's freshly painted, and seasoning means when you take a piece of chalk and basically just rub it on the chalkboard to create a layer of dust, and that will make it way easier to erase. Race. So I'm about to season. Ready?
Okay, this is my all-time favorite coffee table tray. You guys, look how big it is. And it's so on theme. I love it in here, it's so fun. What do you guys think? So we took this giant room and really gave it so many purposes. There is the gaming area with the TV and the coffee table. They can cozy here and play their games, but it looks welcoming and cute. Love the homework corner. Now we've established a whole desk for them. We've got the books, their celebration of reading. We've got some on display and then the rest stored in the basket. We've got the kids artwork on display. I love these frames with the giant mats. Of course, we still have the parents artwork in here. And oh my gosh, the chalkboard paint, the way we angle it to end it. That was like our secret way of saving money and not having to paint this entire room. And you can color on it, which is so awesome. Love this square table here. This is gonna be the arts and crafts table. And we've got our cool hutch here now with the hockey puck poles that actually look very glamorous. We've got the storage still that she had before, so it's all functional. And let's just please take a moment to welcome Turtle don't know the name. I'm not gonna name it. That is definitely gonna be Lincoln and Nolan's job, but I think we're ready. Here, here. Go along. Go along. What? No, I don't know. Joey, <laughs> I don't play sports. I'm getting them. You are? Okay, yeah. okay. Wait, let me style these. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Go on your brother. Look down. Look down. I'm going to put you into don't position. Okay, Thanks. now. One, two, three. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> This is the gaming the area. You each have a chair, a coffee table. We tucked all your cords and everything in the wall. Joey did that, all pro, and you don't worry, PlayStation, everything's still hooked up. Look what we made the knobs of the dresser out of. You, guys you can touch them. You wanna go up? Yeah. What is it? It's hockey pucks. Yeah. yeah. Homework yeah. station over there. With the, did you see what we do with the paint? Diagonal on the walls. I no like rules. It. And it's it also chalk? chalkboard. Chalkboard paint. Paint. Yeah. yeah. So now the to do list can be over on the wall and easily erased. Mm -hmm. uh, have you guys like seen this. the thing in the corner that your parents got you? Tell them what's in the out. corner. Can you see what's in the corner? <laughs> Turtle. Oh. <laughs> Double and look, you actually have a big person table now. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's cool. For your homework oh. or projects, yeah. arts and crafts. You are the captain. Yeah. <laughs> you broke it's the it. centerpiece. Do you guys understand what this wall is all about? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you can just constantly change out the artwork and not have to like always pin it on the wall and take nice. it down. It's like whenever they have a new project, you can just clip it up there. Obviously, we're still celebrating your amazing yes. artwork. We're we can do away with your sketches. <laughs> and then we frame some of their artwork over there. Oh, very cool. I didn't, even, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Come here. Okay, how much? How much, how much do you here. think Lincoln. we spent? A thousand. Ooh. <gasps> That's good a guess. Good yeah. guess. Ten grand? Yeah, <laughs> we spent 300 bucks. No way. Yeah, 300 bucks. 300 wow. bucks. Just 300. Exactly. Yeah. Thank oh you, God. Lincoln. Thank you. <laughs> so in the morning, when you come down this and you see the toothbrush. Yes. A reminder. It's a reminder. Go back upstairs <laughs> if you have not. Smile. <laughs> but yeah, enjoy, guys. Awesome. You guys have to name your turtle. Good luck playing and homeworking and reading and arts and crafting and gaming and all of the stuff that happens in here. I, I'm curious. You guys think we did a good job of, of it's like playroom, but still it's like you walk in the front door. It's not like offensive. It's not like an explosion no, of color. It's, got it's not like you suddenly think that the house is a mess. There yes, you go. Yes, yeah. perfect. That yeah, was that's cool. Exactly what no, it's got style right. and it's got function for everything they need. It's perfect. Good, uh, okay, good. Well, well, enjoy, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Enjoy it, enjoy the turtle. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yes, Thank you so yes. Thank you. Thank you. I know.
Oh. You want to go check out the turtle? Go ahead. Go ahead. Now we're gonna have to think real hard about oh, tomato. Look at it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's light out. That never happens. We what? always need the deadline of kids coming home from school. I mean, us work so fast. Well, we also started at the time we started. We started so. at like like six thirty in the morning. Uh, we have even sure some if, sports emojis if you love wait, sports emojis. This is the last video of 2018. Guys, okay, we 2017. have 2017. It's the last video. Of 2000. Okay, obviously we're delirious. Obviously we need to go on a vacation. Thank you guys so much for just being along the ride with us this year. Obviously, we can't do what we do and make videos without you. So thank you so much for thumbs upping and commenting and just watching and just being so supportive and creative weirdo awesome people. And we're also going to be at 2 million subs in 2018, which is so crazy. Um, Joey, I love you. Thank you so much. We're such a, we're such a good team. Yeah, I love you too. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh, you know, cold. yeah, Joey has been cold. He doesn't want to give me his cold. We Tell us what your favorite part of 2017 was in the comments. Yeah, what was your favorite video of ours this year? That is a great thing to comment. And what are you excited to see in 2018? What do you want us to do? What do you want out of life? Uh, and also get excited because we have some amazing things coming at you. This is some OMG We're Coming Overs plan that are going to be epic and amazing. And we've super got epic. OMG, we bought a house again. And then we also just have other exciting things that you're just going to stay tuned and see. My new year wish is that you and all of you have all your dreams come true in 2018. Oh, all of them? All of them. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Follow us on social media. We'll see you there. We do a lot of posting and everything, so if you can't get enough of us, follow us over there. And thank you so much. We love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. 2018. Yes. Here we come. Okay. Driving off into the new year. Woo! Oh, God, please, the suction cup! Oh. Ow! There's space! <laughs> oh, wow, you are still. <laughs> I know. <gasps> How tall? I feel like they're Look, like... Joey! <laughs> I'm so... Fräulein Maria right now. <sighs> Kate. These are really big. Yeah, I feel like they're like... <laughs> We could definitely inches. make outfits for six children. Seven children? 